Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Hey, I'm Mokalova. And right now we must talk about the rise of cosmicism. Bunched together a group of people deliberately chosen for strong religious feelings and you have a practical guarantee of dark morbidities expressed in crime, perversion, and insanity. While we have shattered the old vestiges of religion and the occult within New England, we have created a dark cultural vacuum that has given birth to a new religion. Where once stood old Masonic halls and church circles, now followers of Providence have established their own groups that aim to study and codify cosmicism, Lovecraft's principal philosophy, rather than the naive platitudes of the old order. Cosmicism states that there is no recognizable divine presence such as a god in the universe, and that humans are particularly insignificant in the larger scheme of intergalactic existence. There's no higher purpose, nor grand notions of what we could conventionally call good or evil. There is only the infinite futility of existence, a fragile and delicate flash in the pattern of a dark and ungaring universe base regi barely registered by the cosmic gods that dwell beyond our perception and shape our reality through hypergeometry. To a student of cosmicism, these beings are not simply fantasy, but a statistical inevitability. Given the infinite and terrifying scale of the universe, curiouser, curiouser, and I have a cup of coffee here to enjoy the cosmos, shall we? And of course, we're still finishing up a, a warrior society to get more organization recovery rate. For this episode, though, I think I want to maybe focus a little bit more on the American Civil War. We'll help out the feds as much as possible. And someone in my Discord server <clears throat> actually said, how do we get rid of MacArthur? Why is William D. Leahy here? I'm not really sure. I mean, whenever I... But to set up this whole campaign to play as, um, you know, Lovecraft, uh, I, like, I did the U.S. Naval focus or U.S. Navy, you know, just because there's no other focuses to do. But other than that, I mean... I'm not sure why Leahy's in charge, but hey, you never know. Alright, so, Rise of Cosmicism, Pot Go. Some groups have taken to forming cults to honor these higher forces and carry out their will on Earth in the hopes of granting humanity greater status in the eyes of these outer gods. How Others, however, have learned to rage against this miserable reality. If there's no loving God defending humanity from the alien horrors beyond space and time, then there's at least one man that stands against the forces of chaos on Earth and gives humanity meaning. Providence the Godhead shall stand as a symbol. <clears throat> against the forces that threaten civilization and humankind. With more and more practitioners joining each side with each passing day, it is unclear which group will come to dominate the cosmicist schism. Providence protects us all. Providence has opened her eyes to the true gods. Mm, I'm not really sure. Protects us? Open our eyes. Let's go to the top one, just because the top sounds a lot more fun. But we do have a couple columns to go through, but first, let's do some competing machine. It is still 1938. Radar seems very nice. And you know what? I didn't realize this. So we have everything on the left side here, which we focus quite quite a bit on right now, which is great and all. And actually, if you look at here, I, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant supremacy. I love wasp supremacy, which also hurts your population by minus 30% recruitable population factor, or just recruitable population. But then a Spartanation also gives you 30% recruitable population, so that's a give and take. And you get, overall, between both of these, you get 39% more division attack. Uh, yeah, and plus 20% division defense, so... Very nice. So we also have this route, if we ever want to go down this route and actually have be more democratic and such, so which would be cool. But there's another route over here where we talk about the Air Force, the Navy, Infrastructure Act. We can reestablish the Minutemen, which is actually very good for more recruitable population. And then you can do Congressional Army decision. So I, I didn't realize that we had even more for New England's future as well. My only complaint about this, I love that there's so many things we can do here. My only complaint is that you have to scroll all the way to the right. There's probably even room for more stuff. Like, I get, like, you know, you should be able to see this too, but maybe have more stuff, like, down here. I don't know if the devs are watching it all, but it'd, be, it'd make more sense maybe if you could see more stuff, like, all everything on the right side down here, so you can see it all kind of centered in at the same area. Maybe that's just me. That's just something I, I kind of figured, like, you know, I didn't realize this, there was stuff on the right side. So, we could keep going down here. The Day of Drawn Daggers. We'd love to do that one. I'd love to get into the shadows for War Economy. But I'm also thinking I'd like to get the yellow, king in yellow for more daily political power and the Nation of Madness. But if we come all the way to the right here, now which one was it? Because we can get another research slot. Uh, where was it? Infrastructure, reestablishment, minute map. Maybe it was over here. Infantry development. Because General Pershing is really cool. I love General Pershing. I don't know much about him, but we love him, right? Yeah, absolutely. Even though we're probably not going to go down that way. Uh, there was another research slot you could grab somewhere here. Oh, no, let's, look, let's look it up. There you go. Let's pause it real quick. War Society done. Great. Nationalized electric boats, which is very cool. Uh, we also have army production. We have expand the... Uh, there it is. Expand the Ivy League. That's what I was looking for. So to get this one, we need one of the following. Settler movement. 
and or funds for uh, Smith and Wesson. Very cool. Well, do we want to reestablish a minimum at first, because we get more manpower, of course, in division, attack, and defense on core territory, or pass the infrastructure? Infrastructure versus manpower and army XP. Military factories are nice. We can actually really use more military factories right now, so let's go with reestablish a minimum. Governor Long claims to have inherited the legacy of the Minutemen, but we are the true successors to those who started down the British on the or stared down the British on the fields of Lexington and Concord. And so shall we again oppose his troops when they come for us. Very nice. Oh, look at that, Providence Guards. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And you can come over here. And who do we have? Adna Archaffy. I was wondering where he went. Cornelius Vanderbilt. JFK. He's politically connected. Of course, he would be. That's in Mark Clark. Uh, chap is good. That one's very good for us. Thank goodness we've got this guy over here. And like I said, I want to focus a little bit more on the Civil War here. And my goal is just to, like, to defend against the Reds. I'm going to get rid of, hopefully, a lot of the Reds once we go to war. Because overall, like, I asked you guys yesterday as well, which way we should go down in terms of, like, sealing yourself off from the world or show them our light. And there's a lot of support for both sides. But there's a lot more support for us to go down show them our light and actually just go, just go to war with all the rest of the fake American factions. So, we'll go down that route. Even though there's quite a bit of support for this side, but there's just overwhelming support for, like, Lovecraft's America. So, it is what it is, and I can't please everybody, but, you know, I'll try my best. Uh, nuclear research. Ooh, that's not bad. Arms, manufacturers, Harrington, uh, guns. I mean, look I mean, look at this. That's really bad. 17 a day is not too bad, though. We have some support coming, too. Um, I want to hit them harder. Marlin. Uh, Marlin's a pretty cool. Savage arms are really nice, too. Plus 50% soft attack. I like that. Breakthrough is really nice, but that won't help you on defense. Uh, defense. Soft attack. You know what? Ooh, but we get our ooh, artillery. 10% more. Ooh, I like that. But like I said, breakthrough doesn't help you on defense too much. Mm. And I want more infantry, equipment, weaponry. Just because I th don't remember, but there's probably more research slots available to finish for infantry equipment than artillery. Don't quote me on that, but I'm going to go Savage Arms because I like Savage Arms. Uh, what do we also have here? Quarter pounders. We like them. I like quarter pounders. Not healthy for you, but you know, whatever. Uh, grab some more cru cruiser stuff. Why not? Improve that guns. Not bad. Actually, we're still trading our one ship. It's not good. <laughs> uh, it's uh, not good. But after we reestablish a Minuteman, like I, I want to get down that extra research slot as fast as possible. Five research slots and Kaiser Redux will definitely help us go further in our campaign. Funds for Smith & Wesson. Founded in 1852, small arms manufacturer Smith & Wesson is a prime example of the genius of New Englanders in the weapons department and weapon business. Further funding shall an expansion of their production facilities shall ensure that our troops have sufficient weapons to back up their claims on the U.S. of A. 500 more infantry equipment and two more military factories. Thank you very much. And the Reds just keep trying to pour into Maryland. I mean, my goodness, this is disgusting. The 5th Zeely Fengshin War and Pennsylvania too. Don't forget Pennsylvania. I love, I'd like to go back to Pennsylvania someday. I've been there once, Gettysburg. I think Pennsylvania, at least that little part of that, looks really nice. So, And if you'd like to read about General Willard G. Wyman, please go right ahead. He looks like a very interesting fellow. Very cool. And we're not national populous enough. The Canadians apply for West Point. The class of 1944 has just, has just arrived. 1944, huh? And the numbers are far below expectations, as it is still necessary for senators to recommend prospective young men. The decrease from 100 new cadets to just 14. It's been suggested that we allow Canadian politicians to recommend their young men to West Point. We are in dire need of new officers, and yet at the same time, this time honored tradition ensures that this institution isn't used by foreign powers, much less the crown. We do not need the people. We don't need them. Canada, get out of here. 3% more recruitable population could be... Re oh, look at that. Well, I guess we're mobilizing more. Look at that. Limited conscription. Very nice. We're still technically a puppet too, so... A society of war is very good, very good. Of course we all. Oh, the Italian Federation. Oh, look at that. The Italian Federation. I need to play Italy. I've not played Italy in a long time. Or if ever. If ever. Oh, they're killing off the Batavia Commune. Good luck with that, guys. Funds for Smith & Wesson. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Since we have a little bit of time as we're watching uh, the Reds die and just keep attacking, attacking, attacking. What else do we have here? Expand the Ivy League. Two out of the three big Ivies, Harvard and Yale, lie under our control. We must support the scholars at these high... At these and high-level universities and the development of computers and other industrial technology. Bat battle line of freedom. Very cool. Uh, Marines, very nice. Long-range patrol. Not bad. Defensive in nature. Which, you get more defensive core territory. But if we want to expand and go out into the world and just teach them the good ways of Providence and Cosmicism, we'll probably have to go long-range patrol and just kill everyone we meet. <laughs> we'll see. 
Are they attacking anywhere else? I mean, we're, like, keep attacking, Reds. Come on. You're doing a great job. These guys are only like 12 combo with, aren't they? Yeah, they're only 12 combo with. They're not that great. Um, Small Enf No Sups. I, I really made these guys have a weird name. That's all right. Enf, 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 Enf. Cool. 20 combo with is where it's at. You can cut down on two then to save some guns initially. Just because I want to make sure that, that all these divisions actually have the guns they need. So that'll be good. Good. I mean, this is great. How much? I don't think we have any air, do we? Do we have any planes? No, we don't. That is mighty disappointing. But annual IEDC review. The time has come to review our partnership with the IEDC and to make our annual contribution towards the organization. Now, we have quite a few factories. Invest in political power. We'll do it. We got enough of it for now. And in return, what shall we get? I decorate advisors, help with the company. I think we did a construction engineers last time, and that was all right. You know, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. Give us your resource efficiency gain. Would that be helpful? No, chromium, we, yeah, that would be kind of worthless. You do get 15% more factory output, and we kind of can use that for more guns. Yeah, going 5% more consumer goods. So instead of one, we get, eh, that wasn't really worth it either. Since, yeah, honestly, that prob probably construction speed right now would be better. You get one more fact civilian factory to use. 30% more research speed probably would have been better. I always choose the wrong one, apparently. Oh, well. I'm ready for the Ivy League schools. Lithuania, Batavia, and Commune. Not bad. Not bad at all. Decimetric radar is very nice. Uh, our divisions look really bad just because we try to expand them, so that's why. And uh, grab some synthetic oil research. Well, it's not like we're Texas. We're not like California or Alaska. We don't have that much fuel, so. And after improved like guns, let's go ahead and grab some of this as well. Revolt on the right spec. Good. Good for you guys. Don't really care here, apparently. And do we need anything else for curious? No. Oh, there we go. Oh, low munition factory? That'd be really nice. American capitalism? We love American capitalism. But I want to keep going down with more industry and stuff like that. Uh, electrification would be bad. American capitalism, I want to do. Pass the Infrastructure Act, I want to do that too. There's so much I want to do, man. New England's Navy would be very cool. Liberty Ships Dock uh, Project would be kind of cool. Self-Reliance. Isaac. Ooh, we could buy equipment. That's not bad. Alright, so it's getting closer and closer to 39. Plane-wise, we're looking okay. Air doctrine, we're looking okay, not great. Artillery, we're looking okay. Tanks, we're looking okay. We're looking pretty okay in a lot of places. Let's grab some maintenance company. Says we do want to eventually get some tanks as well, even though we might want to focus a little bit more on our navy, anyways. So maybe we'll come back and uh, ooh, congressional primary, old gravel voice, superior firepower, integrated armor. Yeah, be good. Actually, that's pretty good to do. Ireland during the Reichs pack. Nothing here too demanding. I mean, we want to do this eventually for you know our land doctrine and stuff, but I think we can wait. And New England's future. Well, we're still a puppet of New England, of Canada for now. Ooh. That, does that mean we have to go to war with the Third International eventually? We might have to. But let's go absorb the cults first. In New England, uh, within New England, are many who see Lovecraft's works not as a word of a writer, but as the word of God himself, and they hold his work in a higher regard than the Quran, the Talmud, or the Bible. And this particular subset of society is seeking to form cults around Providence and his works, as they believe that the gods are speaking through Lovecraft and his communicate through his infinite wisdom. Even though Providence knows that he crafts works of fiction and that these cults are comprised of insane lunatics, he cannot deny their devotion to him. Ensuring their loyalty is of the utmost importance, and once they are integrated into a nation, they can adequately fit into Lovecraft's new order. We get 5,000 more manpower and more national populism. Love it. Uh, the Great New England Hurricane of 1938. It was the first considered a non-issue. The Yankee Chip Clipper hurricane arrived on, new England, on Long Island September 21st, and would only last... And only a few hours later, it would turn out to be the largest hurricane to set foot in New England since the Great Colonial Hurricane of 1635. Oh boy. Moving north from Long Island to Connecticut, Rhode Island, and up through Vermont, the storm cost the lives of close to 700 people. While at the end of the devastation, over 57,000 homes were destroyed or damaged, and road networks all across New England region lay in tatters with projections estimating that it would take us months or even years to re just reopen them to traffic. God save us all. Well, that sucks. Oh well. There you go. Keep training. You ain't done yet. Wait, did you not? There you go. There you go. Now nah, that's nice. Yeah, we can't really do too much with our political power, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Try to go as fast as possible with this, because the Civil War is a Civil War. How are we looking? Hopefully he's learning a little bit more, a little bit learning. We can't... Oh, no, 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 Canada. No, 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 no. Oh, looks like we have to go do this one as fast as possible. From the Terror into the Deep. So we gotta go. We're gonna race on here next time. I'd love to absorb the Colts, but we need to go to war then. 
I'm not helping out Canada. So, nationalized electric boat. One part, key part of Lovecraft's more national syndicalist economic policy is that of the nationalizing major companies. One such major company is to be nationalized as the electric boat ship company, so they can produce powerful vessels for our nation. This is another part of Lovecraft's broad effort to focus on the seas and construct a powerful navy for New England. This is a hopeful start to some of the more ambitious projects that the nation is embarking on. Very good. Canada. You know, I kind of hope they get taken out. I don't mind getting involved, but we still have, you know, volunteers sent abroad, so... Uh, let's grab some fuel refining. We're, we're going to need that. Mm, this one looks a little lower. We'll do that one first. It's almost 39. Chief of school. Uh, that's not bad. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Canada. Canada. This is why, this is why I don't trust the Canadians. I'm not going in. You're going to lose all your men, Canada. And if we win in the war, I'm taking all the territory. Screw you, Canada. I literally sent the divisions there to help out. And now we can't get that naval, that army XP. War propaganda. We have 100% already, so kind of okay with that. Eh, at least, it, at least we can go to war economy. Even though technically into the shadows, we could go there. That's going to take quite a few days to get down there. 35, 35. That's like 70, 70 plus 70 is 140. It's almost 200 some days. We'd rather go to war economy now, probably to get more construction speed. So. It's only 100 political power. I mean, we don't have that much to do with our political power anyway, so. Only following orders? Well, Lovecraft's wisdom is without question among his officers. His patent for reusing papers has resulted <clears throat> in creating multiple conflicts. Direct orders from Providence are dispatched to generals on scribbled out legal documents or penciled in the margins of previously sent commands. This has caused embarrassing effect of troops being unable to interpret Lovecraft's seemingly nonsensical or contradictory orders due to them being muddled or lost in a sea of scribbles and edits around older messages. I am okay. We shall attack at Wednesdays? Oh, this marks perfect... Wait, no, wait, hold on. Um, send 40 yards of eggs to Quincy? Our officers will interpret this order as they wish. Eh, what is PP, but but a number. Yeah, they're attacking us. Just just defend. Canada. This, this is why we want to get rid of Canada. Project Dunwich Horror. Any fool can see that the way of the future is harnessing the atom, and that the first nation to acquire atomic weapons will yield... And wield incredible power. So, on the orders of Lovecraft, a project dubbed the Dunwich Hordes to begin. That will see that New England's finest scientists work tirelessly to harness the power of atomic technology. And once this project is finished, we will stand through the ages, a fixed monument set eternally in the shadow of Dunfree's ice clad peak. Getting able to address if you like to read about that, please go ahead. I don't care about the monarchy right now, so it is what it is. As long as we're defending, especially New York City, that's all I really care. Oh, crap. Well, that wasn't us. Okay. You guys go on, on home. The stupid Canadians don't know what they're doing. Just defend for now. We lost 81 guys versus 5,000. So, National Electric Boat. Project Dunwich Horror. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Project Shadow over Innsmouth. The Miracle Weapon Project are starting off with an effort to build mighty rockets that will see man conquer the cosmos and beyond. This project has been dubbed the Shadow over Innsmouth. Or Innsmouth, referencing one of Lovecraft's most famous novels. Once this project is complete, all other nations will fear us and out might and our mighty rocketry technology. I hate being a puppet man. It sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind defending and just like, get absorbing all that political power or manpower and you know army XP. But man, this sucks. I didn't ask for this. Then again, I mean, we technically did get protection from Canada, but. We don't need Canada's protection when the Americans are killing each other. The other Americans are. August Left, R. H. Barlow, Frank Belk Belknop Long, huh? And H. B. Lovecraft, head of the government. Very cool. That's a lot of political power every day. That's pretty nice. What a bunch of dummies! Why did you go? Why did you for, well, force us to go to the war, man? I keep building civvies, though. It's kind of nice, actually. Uh, we could probably use some stuff here. You know, what, build some of that up there. There you go. Ottomans under siege. All right. How long will it take us? And until uh, that's that's not too bad. I don't mind doing that then. Very nice. Project Shadow over Innsmouth. Very nice. 
the Great Syrian Revolt. Very nice, very nice. The Terror from the Deep. At home or in the seas, our terrors that too many are unimaginable to combat these horrors, our pride must be in our navy. With just our Anglo brothers before us, our proud navy is a sign of prowess, strength, and of course a sign that New England is unbreakable, and that we can fend off attacks from any of the seaborne foe, whether they are cynical hordes or trembling forces of the deep. Oh, we get one, two, three, four, five naval dockyards. Three one hundred percent bonuses for naval doctrines, and two two hundred percent bonuses for subs. That's that's pretty darn strong. That is pretty darn strong. And we love it. Gun's still looking pretty bad. Um, at least we're at 5 for that. That's pretty good. We need some more chromium, too. At least, oh, these guys are looking a little better. Canada has come down here a little bit, so. And the, I gotta play as Texas sometime, man. I really do. Oh, good job, guys. You're gonna die. Bye, Portugal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Portugal. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Alright, in the meantime. Electronics, electronics, and nuclear... Well, 50%, but 10%, 10%. Let's go with that one. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a tremendous year. Yeah, you guys. There we go. Main National Guard. You did it really well before, so. Uh, John J. Pershing. How are you doing? Infantry expert. We probably want to go infantry expert. He's an old god, unfortunately, but whatever. He's a war hero, too, though. Not bad. Any other upgrades? No. Disappointing. And then we'll go into the world. And then we become free. We should have rushed for this one earlier, actually, but whatever. It is what it is. Canada. God dang it. Which does make me question. Um, if we become free, are we still on the top? Can we just like, leave the faction and become our own America? I'd like to do that. Into the world, though. With the Civil War ending, oh, Lovecraft and his allies have expressed an urge to expand further. Lovecraft wants isolation, while other more Anglophilic members of the cabinet want rapid expansion. He wants isolation. No, there'll be no isolation here, my friend. No, 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 no. Magnet detonator, very nice. Let's grab some output. After maintenance copies, we shall grab some more construction speed as well. What's the command center? Nope. I need to play them sometime. How much? Oh, the cars actually come up all cut off Ohio. They got camels. Look at that. Camels with military police. That is that is fancy, man. That is quite fancy. I mean, we only have one destroyer. I don't think we could probably raid them. It probably wouldn't go very well. Maybe we could try it though. I want you to engage at very low risk. And China's just falling apart, but yeah, it's just Chinese things, you know. Nice, we got one thing in radar. Oh, oh, hello. <gasps> Come on, can we get him? Oh, you left, guys. Man, Siri's gone. Well, well, Siri is destined to fall, right? Yeah, it's not looking good for the CSA. The PSA is. No, we're just kind of hanging out, huh? Oh, we got resistance? Where? New York City should be our core. That's so weird that it's not. So weird. Well, let's take a look. We lost about a thousand versus wow, eighty-two thousand. We've done. We killed off twice as many. You know, Reds compared to Canada. Are you even trying Canada? Apparently, they are. <laughs> oh, guys, why are you doing it like that? Go destroyer, go! You're doing a great job. Where are you doing your battles? Oh, oh, you actually sunk something. Yeah, oh, a single destroyer actually sunk something. Appointing the New England poet Laureate. Uh, Laureate. Laureate. Uh, let's go and do Into the World next. The position of poet Laureate has been discussed within state politics for a few years now, a single person to represent the corpus of hundreds of artists against a tide of film and popular music as an art form. The New England Congress has decided to create this title along with a reconsecration of the Boston as. Athensium as a temporary library of Congress. The obvious choice is H.P. Lovecraft, the leader of our nation, that has both thrilled and terrified us with his works. Lovecraft, however, has written in the papers that he does not care whether he receives the award. If not Lovecraft, the head candidate, ooh, candidate is Robert Frost, who exhibits a distinctly New England mastery of modernist poetry. The Library of Congress is in a bind. The modern master, Robert Frost, H.P. Lovecraft, the master of horror. Oh, social conservatism. No, we gotta go with Robert Frost then. Oh. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Good job, guys. Good job. Even our destroyers can best their battleships. Or at the very least, not just get killed by them. Um, actually, hold on. So, Into the Shadows? 
we still go to war kind of sometimes when you look at this and if you take a focus and it says that you're going to go up a, you know economy law sometimes it goes up to the next one it doesn't always say static it depends on the focus for the for the uh, law you go to so that's good to know but show them the, the light or our life. Providence, New England is the last bastion of dignity and civilization in the New World. We cannot simply cower in the face of long odds. We must reach out and liberate our American brothers from savagery. Hello? Emperor Japan? I don't care. Empress of Directors, if you like to read about that one, please go right ahead, as well as seal it all off, and the Black Spot of Americas. Nice. Which we piss off everyone else in the world, but we don't care. It is 39. And uh, Chief of the Army Doctrine. Ooh, we did get more daily army XP. Planning speed doesn't really mean too much. Organization loss was moving minus 5%. That's not really good. Defense and supply consumption. I love the attack, but supply consumption is going to be a big, big problem for us. Let's get some more defense. Just because supply consumption is going to be incredibly bad for us when we make these guys 40 combat with and we get some really thick New England boys going. Which sounds very weird if you think about it, but don't think about it too much. Look at our guy go. Harold. Rainsford stuck 48%. Early hills 20%. Nice. Into the world. Very, very good. Oh, looks like the Reds aren't doing so well. The car's done really good job. They took out all of Indiana and a, m most of Ohio. Oh, but then they got invaded by the Portuguese. Alright. Finally, we're free and show them all the light. Oh, yes! Oh, so we're free, so we get some stuff now? That's nice. Oh, look at that. That's a choke point, but... Uh, they're probably not going to export that to the best of their abilities. After this... Oh, yeah, keep attacking me. I would like to do... Prepare for the confrontation. Oh! Yes! Yes! The Outsider and the Americans are all foaming at the mouth to take New England back. We cannot allow this. We cannot let the impure ruin New England like they did for hundreds of years beforehand. We must defend our lands with our lives. And so we go to war the CSA, USA, Western Command Center, CAR, American Union State, and Pacific States of America. That'll be good. Just don't tell me that anyone here is in... Oh, the Reich's back. Okay, that's fine with me. Um, we'll go to war with all these other guys, which, which technically... Which is good, since um, we can call our allies in to help take, us, take out all the enemies, which is pretty nice. So then we'll be okay with going to war. Then we'll be okay. Live the EDC? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're actually pretty good with that. Oh, we actually get an off... Map civilian factory. Okay. Well, this were regarded as an equal member of the faction. That's pretty good. And now we can reject going to war. Oh, you canceled it? Ah, uh, Japan. I don't really feel like Japan right now. Sorry, guys. Not really sorry too much, though. Keep building up civvies because we're going to need them. Show them all light. And you know what? With the car just going crazy. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Oh. Good job. Alright, so with you guys here, I'm actually going to probably do something like this. Leslie Groves, you're going to do that. There's enough divisions on the line that we can do this too, so. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There you go. That's what we want to see. Now hold. That's what we want. You three come over here, and we'll probably try to take this little tile first. A small encirclement to begin with. Small encirclements, of course. Hey, Trenton. New Jersey. Who would want to live in New Jersey? I don't know. Some people do. If you're from New Jersey, please let me know in the comments below. Ah. Show them a light. Very good. We actually have a positive amount of guns. Fancy. Very fancy. School and fancy, son. Thank you very much. And then, Lovecraft's America. America, land once pure, has been corrupted by the mongoloid hordes eternally going against Providence desires. We will have none of it, while New England has seen purity abounded. America beyond has fallen to the whim of men without vision. The time is as good as ever. Providence will strike now and free America from the impure. And I do want to claim, claim, claim greater New England. We get cores on all sorts of stuff, including St. Louis, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. And New York City, too, which would be actually very, very good. All this stuff has to be our core. So... Uh, nothing else here. No. Got plenty of this stuff. Let's see. Defense. Max and Trimmer. Plus 10. That's really good. But we're going to be on the attack quite a bit. So. Uh, probably this one. Because this applies to... Oh! Chicago's gone. This goes for organization. Recovery rate. So that'll help every single division out. Which is nice. We get division speed. But man, that's okay. Alright. Might as well take that one, right? Looking very good. Philadelphia. Once they lose Philadelphia, I think they're done. 
I think they're literally just done. The card's been beaten back a little bit. They did take Chicago, though. I see why they've been beaten back a little bit. I don't know if you can do anything here. Uh, you can send both of you guys in since we have allies there defending it anyways. Alright, we're on the offensive now. Finally, the New Englanders are coming and arriving with the Minutemen. You cancelled the Lundley, son. Why? We only have a positive amount of guns now. What's wrong with you? Nice. Don't let them live. Come on, get in there before they get in there. Come on. Oh, you got attacked. Yeah, we're not going to be able to... Oh, actually, we still might be able to get to Newark. Prepare for the confrontation. Canada, what do you want? No. I don't want to go to war with those guys. Lovecraft's America, though. Finally. Nice. There you go. See, you just got to wait, because New England will save the day. Disperse industry. Very good. Let's grab some of that. That's good. Grab some of this. That's good. Um, We do have enough army XP for that, but whatever. Get some quarter pounders. Mm. With cheese? Yes, please. Go ahead and finish them off real quick. That's fine. Attack them from the back. Ethiopia, declare one in Eritrea. That's still a conflict that... Was it, has it still raging on today? Eritrea or revolt? I don't know. I don't know my history on Eritrea and, and um, Ethiopian geopolitics, so... Oh, James already re-elected president, re president of Texas. I do some more comments to go through, but I haven't gotten to them yet, obviously. Oh, please don't encircle us. Please don't encircle us. Atlantic City. Oh, that's where Atlantic City is. Alright, you're gonna die now. I will guarantee your death. Every red's gotta die. You will not encircle us. You will not win. Uh, what the heck? Game? Uh, no. no, no. Please, thank you. Please and thank you. Ooh. Get out of here, you pieces of garbage. You don't even move in there if you beat them hard enough. Good. And let's grab some anti-air as well. Why not? Other comments, let's see. Yeah, someone said, yeah, I think I said this earlier, but the devs should put Lovecraft's cat in as an advisor. I think that'd be pretty cool. Putting that name in, though, might not be super gamer-friendly. Actually, that's really gamer-friendly. But I don't know if Paradox would really like that. But if it's historical... We can, we can call it historical. Uh, let's see. Kennedy Monarchy. Someone wants me to do Kennedy Monarchy. Uh, a few people want me to do other routes because apparently a lot of people like doing, you know, Lovecraft's, you know, New England. So, yeah, eventually I'd like to do other routes. So, I did mark this save as a special save. So, we'll see. Alright, let's cut these guys off in Ohio. If we possibly can. The militia looking pretty weak down there. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, what else do we have down here? Uh, planes. We have no planes. Check the Navy. Uh, we do have some tanks. We need a tank manufacturer. Light tank manufacturer. Uh, eventually, light tanks won't be a problem. Armor, get more soft attack and reliability. 10% for both is pretty good. After that, let's just go ahead and crane, crane. Claim Greater New England. New England is a nation greater than the bounds that we've been limited to by the old nations. New England spans large swaths of land that rightfully fall under Providence rule. Providence's rule. I should really say, oh, look at that. Communist tanks. French National Worker State, huh? Let's get some more organization first before we do anything else. Philadelphia. How dare you... Go there and call that your own. Lovecraft America. Cool. Claim greater that place. Nice. Canada. You kind of suck, don't you? You lost that. You sure you went into Minnesota a little bit, but you lost that part of Canada. Come on, man. How many men have, has Canada lost? Too many. Uh, Forty-two thousand. We lost four thousand. Makes sense. It's probably really risky. Get down there potentially. Uh, mm. I love engineers. Let's go in, boys. Oh, we're going to get attacked, ransacked, and ramshackled a whole bunch. You must have had in two then. Nice, nice. Go in there if you can. Either one does not matter. Cut them completely off. 
You know what? You hold here. You help support the attack. They can keep throwing in more divisions. They're not going to have enough, hopefully. Nice. He's becoming a Panzer leader, which is good. If we can't win here, then we'll just come over here then. Doesn't really matter to me. I don't think... How much more manpower does the CSA actually have? Oh, they're out! Oh, that's a that's different. Okay, yeah. Actually, how much manpower does each group have? They have a tiny bit. They have no manpower. God, this is... I mean, obviously Texas shouldn't have that much. The PSA is doing well as well as the Western Command Center, but Canada, how about you? Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really bad. How many Americans have died in this war so far? Holy crud. That's a lot of guys. Okay, go here then. Can we force the attack to go even faster? Maybe not. Maybe that was a bad idea, because they're just going to come over here now. Come on, MacArthur. Come on, help us out. Help us out. Western Command Center, PSA. Yeah. Makes sense. Hmm. God dang it. Well, CSA, you're going to die here anyways. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's reform these guys. Because you're still going to attack no matter what. Let him move out. And then we'll attack him again. I'm not coming into your war, man. Ah, I've got some duckers. That's very nice. Absorb the Colts. Finally, we will do this one. Finally. Oh. More duckers. Fin it's because we got the cores. That's right. Cruiser holes would be nice. Imperial dreadnoughts. Dreadnought holes. Eh, these aren't great, but... Eh, we might be able to make these. Let's see. Two. Four is very nice, actually. Two is very good. Eight. That's nice. Just make sure we get some more anti-air. Anti-air is a big old problem that I don't want to fight, so... Uh, could we do five instead? No. Seriously? Maybe once we get enough naval XP. Oh, I don't really want to make this. Well, since it's going to take so long anyways, you might as well. Or just throw it down there for now. It's fine. Alright, CSA. I mean, you're going to lose a lot of guys. I mean, I'm going to make sure every single one of you guys is going to die. We killed off a quarter million CSA dudes right now. So, once you leave, I mean, they're all going to die. So, nope. Alright, so we did that one. Not too bad. Mm, recon, maintenance, meh. Naval stuff would not be bad either. It's 39. Oh, look at that. That's 47 days is pretty good. Let him leave, let him leave, let, let him leave. Uh, there you go. We're going to go for construction speed this time. Dockyards, let's go more. Uh, go civvies. 1550, not bad. Um, still not bad. So right now, it's October 24th. And now this one would give us October 15th. So it's about a week. It's not that much better, but it is what it is, whatever. Because after this, I want to start making some... Oil would be nice. More military factories, though. Uh, build in New York City. That's fine. Good. Now that you guys move around first. Oh, they took back Chicago. That's not good. And the cars beat it out. Beat it up. Beat back of the Entente Invasions. We just go right there and start just as, as, you know smacking them hard as possible. Cool, and it's still 39 engineers. Eh, get some better military police because we can. Let's go in here first. Why not? Screw it. Beat him up. Because this guy needs to become a Panzer leader. He is 89% of the way there. 90% of the way there. Oh, yeah, keep attacking me. See what happens. Good, 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 good. Light tanks. I'm going to go to three, probably, actually, for you guys. Uh, we need some serious resources, too, so. Ah, good. Hmm. Let's get that. Was that a, oh, that might be a river there, too. That's not good. Ooh, actually, we might be attack here instead. Yeah, actually, let's do that one first, maybe. And then we can attack here and circle three divisions, maybe? Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, if you guys can go in, that'd be great. We'll see what happens, though, of course. More infantry, thank you. They're only just guys with guns, so. Good God, we need more resources. Oh, I'll say it's ultimatum. Very nice. Alright, good luck, guys. You're gonna need that. 
Well, you made his way here, so CSA, so you're gonna die anyways. Oh, that's a lot of lag. Austria okay, that's really good. Austria intervenes immediately. Absorb the cult, my friends. Nope. Lovecraft's new order. I do want to get into the shadows so we can get down here. But we kind of can wait maybe just a little bit. Ooh, that's not bad. I like that one too. Pinnacle power is not bad. But not really necessary right now. Uh, you know what would be kind of cool if we get... If, since we didn't go down this route, why, I wish we could just like... Okay, can we just hide this? That'd be something a cool addition to throw in Hoi 4 for, you know, Paradox. Or even just, you know, the devs. Uh, American capitalism, we want to do that. Congressional Army decision. The time is coming to decide how we'll run our military. Congress has four different men they are considering, and each comes with their own doctrine. Adna, Father Chaffee, General John J. Pershing, Ernest Old, Gravel Voice Harmon, and politician Theodore F. Green are in running, and the decision has come. Who to appoint? Good question. Who to appoint? Wait, Visioneer Brigade? Uh, that's cool and all, but... Oh, they got shovels. I love the shovels. But we'll go with that one for now. There you go. Actually, how much support committee do we have? We have a good amount, and we'd probably get help from our allies, too. So, let's grab some engineers. We don't have enough of that. But we'll see if uh, people want to help us out with that, too. Motorized are not bad. Artillery is not great. So, get some artillery. It doesn't cost that much, so. Second Valkyrie, very cool. Come on, Bulgaria joined the Reich's Pact. Very nice. By attacking us, they are going to weaken themselves in any ways, and we got them. Let them starve. I, don't, I want them to panic. I want to feel their anger, their frustration, their disappointment. I want them to feel that all their hope will be crushed and lost. What did you do to your flag? Oh, this is the Raj Authority. Winston Churchill, you got a nice hat? Yeah, nice hat. I want to feel your anxiety, CSA. So, okay, they're dead. Never mind. They, <laughs> they can't feel anything because we killed them. Good job, uh, Anton, guys. Good job. Uh, but up next, like... Three. This one, this is definitely the target we want to hit here. We're going to cut off Ohio from uh, Pennsylvania. Or Chicago, actually. So these guys will all be surrounded, and that'll be good. What well, won't be good is if we go to war with the federal government before we really should. Hmm. Let's get another tank down here first. The Esoteric Order of Dragon. Modeled after the mystical society of the same name founded by Captain Obed Marsh in Providence Prophetic Tome. Shadow over Innsmouth, the Esoteric Dr Order of Dragon seeks to better understand esoteric cosmic cosmicist principles through the lens of occult societies present in Lovecraft's work. Though Providence's has set the coming age in motion, he is not the be all and all of this world. By employing chaos magic to invoke the power of Lovecraft's creations, we can tap into collective zeitgeist of war-torn New England to bring these imagined outer gods into this world, knowingly or unknowingly. The written works and political actions of Providence have already stoked the fears and anxieties of the people of New England. Wilhelm, oh, yeah, Wilhelm Reich, the group's enigmatic leader, enigmatic leader, believes this terror can be distilled into a powerful spiritual essence known as Olgan, energy capable of reshaping reality, where other magicians such as Alistair Crowley have routinely failed to bring about the Age of Aquarius through the the base sexual ritual. Oh my. Richard Reich believes that he can succeed by employing the terror invoked in Providence's work to bring the collective societal th thought form of Lovecraft's outer gods into our reality. Only time will tell if Reich's order of Dagon can succeed in the goals, or if they will prove to be just another deranged doomsday cult. Oh, it's not Dragon. It's Dagon. My bad. Finiguli Ngulumnaha Sisulu Nrela Gwa Nagel Futangan. I speak Dagon. If you didn't know. Perfectly. Perfect language. And you know what? I love it when our little destroyer goes toot toot and goes kaboom to CSA convoys. He's, look at that. He's learning. Level 3. Nice. I could do that one. Actually, that would be really good for now. That's not going to help us out when we get a really big navy, though. That's really just not going to help us out. So, let's see. Alright, I want to feel the panic. I want to feel their anguish. I want to feel their misery when they realize they're all going to die here. I want to feel them suffering here. Come on. And we're not going to force attack this time. That's a bad idea. Oh, uh, good. We're building up stuff here, too. Very good. Because once we rebuild America, we're going to need as many consumer goods factories as possible. So. Oh. Why are you you're throwing more guys in? Why? Why are you doing that? If all... Oh, that's not good. The fall of Dublin. Uh, Panzer later. Yes. You yeah, know, this would be good for defense and mechanized defense. Uh, but that's okay. good. Oh, yes. Quarter pounders. We love to pound those quarters. Those hindquarters, huh? Oh boy. You're gonna go straight in. You actually move into there. 
And after this, we'll probably go with uh, the old gravel voice, since we did go down uh, superior, power, uh, superior firepower. Ernest N. Harmon is one of our top generals, and he has a distinct plan. He calls it Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition, and is a plan that specifically emphasizes artillery bombardment, and has a more general focus on equipment production. With a focus on these things, old gravel voice knows that we will blow our enemies to smithereens. Oh, oh god, the exos will never be so... And we've got them, my friends. I want them to feel the panicked voices of the mind shrieking, knowing that they will all die to either us or the feds. Very good. Very, very good. I bet Pershing didn't want to be called up again to fight another war. Actually, he didn't fight a war in this timeline, so... The Entente and Reichsback to meet. With both the Entente and Reichsback now at war the third, with the Third International, the Kingdom of Canada has called for a conference between their leaders in the Canadian city of Halifax in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation, and the German Empire has agreed. While it's currently unclear how far such cooperation will go, it seems worth the attempt. A representative from New England has, asked, been, or has been asked to attend. No, thank you. Old gravel voice it is. And you know what? We might as well go ahead and select someone else here. Air Force, so we don't have one. Oh, naval bombing. Uh... Bad with a penalty? Oh, we'll just do that one. Doesn't really matter to me. Actually, we need to get rid of this, too, eventually. But since we have no resources except for steel, we can still probably actually get rid of that. But let's go and continue doing what's next. God, this is why I don't like going all over the right side. It just it doesn't make sense. But the Halifax Conference. Leaders from the Anton Rexpect gather in Halifax today in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation in the war against the Third International. What this cooperation would consist of was not difficult to ascertain. Military and naval access between all members, but more importantly for the Entente, the willingness on the part of the Reichspact to stay out of both France and Great Britain once the war is done. This would allow for a swift return to Europe for both the French and the British exile governments. The ultimate goal of both, but now a single question hangs over the conference. Will the German Empire even agree to such terms? And if so, what would they ask for in return? That's an excellent question, but integrated armor. Tanks are fairly new to the warfare, but have similar explosive potential to artillery. Put together, these forces can bring heck fire on our enemy. Though we still need shells and training for these tactics, establishing the plan is a first step to victory. Let's bring armor to the fold. Russia is seemingly recovering. Oh boy. Ah, the British renounced Northern Ireland. Very cool. Today has caused much uproar in the Halifax Conference. The German delegates, acting on behalf of their Irish allies, had demanded that the British renounce all claims in Northern Ireland. Even so, it would annul the acts of the Union which created the United Kingdom. The British delegates have agreed to do so. They do not wish to war to go to war with the Irish, of all people. And while they have said the matter should, in the end, rest with the citizens of Northern Ireland themselves, they will not personally press British claims. Astounding. Quite astounding, my friends. I have a little bit of anti here, too. I like that. Kill them all and let God sort them out. I don't care what happens here. Just kill every single last one of them. They can defend for as long as they can, but they are running out of supplies. Oh, a little bit. They still have a port in Pennsylvania for now, but we might... Oh, the failure? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, well. It is what it is. Who cares? Um, They are starving, so... And even though this is over river with just guys with guns... Uh-oh. Would you look at this? We got a carrier, but we have no planes. That's not good. We need more military factories now. Uh, which is what we're trying to build, actually, right now, so. Let the, oh, King Edward abdicates the throne? A new British king? Oh, no. But, oh, yes. Paranormal combat squads. As New England is further gripped by the paranormal enemy, more and more drastic measures must be taken to ensure the safety of our nation. One such action taken has been the creation of so-called paranormal combat squads by the brass of the Delta Green. These paranormal combat squads are large brigades of scientists and exorcists who are equipped in dealing with ghosts, poltergeists, and other spirits. These combat squads, nicknamed the Ghostbusters, oh, can deal with wide-scale paranormal activity and deal with it quickly, while keeping the public calm and in blissful denial. So far, they have not seen much action, however, the higher-ups in Delta Green do hope to do use them more often, as the explicit purpose of the organization is to fight the unknown supernatural forces plotting against us when there's something strange. Who are you going to call? Oh boy. Uh, cruiser hole. We only have five. You know, oh, we technically are working, we're barely working on that, so I'll just get rid of that, and let's finish that off with this. I know I could have upgraded something else, but it doesn't really matter. There you go. Subs would actually probably would have been a better choice right now, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We don't have any stuff for anything here anyways. Let them starve, let them die. We took Philadelphia, which is our rightful town. Rightful city. Actually, this is all our core anyway, so it doesn't even matter. That's why we got more population here, too. So with that done, you still might be able to sink some stuff from the car and such. So, not bad. Oh, they're, st they're panicking. I love it. I love it. Let's finish these guys up first. And eventually, once the CSA is dead, dead we will go to war with the federal government. Which is not good for the Entente, since they're going to war with Japan and, you know, the Reds, but whatever. Okay, this is very weird. This is very ugly, guys. Uh, but I guess you can't do too much about it. 
The current motion. Oh, what, what's the current motion? Oh, I can't do it. We can't do anything about that, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh no, they're panicking. Oh. Um, I don't remember asking you guys for that, but okay. Let them survive a little bit more. Actually, we can attack up here. They're going to be too weak to do anything, so. Tanks. Well, once they run out of tanks, they won't be able to do anything, so you might as well. Oh no, they wanted Philadelphia back. Die, you godless syndicalists. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, look at that army XP. Not bad. All gravel boys. Integrated armor is next, of course. Good. Take those tanks out. Oh, they're attacking us here, too. That's yeah, alright. Wait, why do we... Huh. I wonder if we can peacefully reunify with the federal government. This is a lot of guys here. Um, someone in the comments below might be able to tell how many divisions this is. I'm too lazy to read or figure out how many divisions this is. But they're all going to die in the end anyways. Seriously, why do we have to go scroll all the way to the right, man? Uh... And then I'm going to do tactical divisiveness. Yeah, oh, yeah, 200% uh, research bonus. If there's any lesson that we should be learned from the Valkyrie, it is that the enemy should be destroyed decisively before they have a chance to dig in. To avoid prolonged conflicts, we will invest in aggressive and dec decisive tactics that allow us to use our superior firepower to our advantage. Nice. More Wars for 2. Slightly more, slightly more. Not a lot more, but slightly more. All right, let's push our advantage a little bit more, shall we? Tanks go bye-bye. Better right off, very good. It's almost 1940. Let's grab some of this. Atomic research. Well, that's actually really, really good. Holy crap. We want to limit the amount of casualties we do take, so. Guns are good. Uh, fighters, we actually have a fighter. I'm not going to use them yet because we'll, we'll just get killed immediately, so. It says you, you guys can just go right on in, so you might as well try it, maybe? That's fine. We'll go right on in then. Harrisburg. They're all going to die. They, they have no victory points here, so. All these men will die. Oh! They've been encircled. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Kill every single one of them off. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So, let's take a look first. So, we've killed off about almost a third of a million. 322,000 reds. 322,000. By the time they're done here, I want to see the casualties. I want them... One wishing that they were never born. Is so this a little bit too harsh for these guys? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, they're going bye bye. Oh boy. Regimental combat teams very good. Oh, you guys are not done. No, 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 no. You are never done. We have too many enemies to kill, my friends. I think this is going to fall. Once they take, once they lose Chicago, they're, they're done. Oh, they're dead. Oh yes. Oh yes. Please, this is so nice. Oh, happy birthday, everyone. Wait, what? I do want to plan against these guys, but can we peacefully reunify with the U.S. of A? That is something I would love to know. But let's take a look. 322,000. Now it's been boosted up to 484,000, so roughly half a million dead reds because of us. Not bad. Roads. I, I want to focus on roads later on. So, Pennsylvania, go and get to New Hampshire. Let's do that like that. Military police is very good. It's almost 1940. It's basically 1940, so improved computer machines. Very nice. And Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy New Year. Actually, at this point, let's go and do this as well. I'm not going to fight for the... Um, those guys over in the federal government. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Can we actually peacefully reunify with the federal government? Because we do have the war go against them. And I don't mind killing them off if we have to, so. Nice. We have two planes. Not great. We'll take whatever we can get. You should be able to actually train pretty quickly then if there's only two guys here, so. We'll go let them do that. That's fine. Uh, so that one ship right there. Um, not bad. How many relative factors do we need? We need one, two. Uh, naval bombers are kind of less important right now. We need to do that first. Then. There you go. Now we're going to make some carrier bombers, which actually make us kind of okay. Cruisers, convoys. There you go. Any upgrades for anybody? No? Nope. Come on, guys. You guys can take the CSA. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. This looks really bad for the American Union state. Holy crud. Nope. Integrated Amas. Very good. Ah, the thought of Kiev. Oh, boy. 
After that, oh, there goes Ukraine, goodbye. Wolf, West Point Engineering, not bad. Even more bonus for Superior Firepower. They're really pushing us to do really well with Superior Firepower. Almost too well. We shouldn't we should have done any of this stuff then if we you know for superior firepower to keep getting more blueprints, but artillery offensive. Hamann argues that an investment in artillery would go a long way in breaking through to the south or in any other theater of war. With the artillery coming first, the enemy line will be melted like butter, and our infantry will be the knife that slices straight through it. Nice. Let the tanks go, 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 go. Yeah, don't worry about doing that, guys. Yeah, it's help support the attack. Cut them off. That's the most important thing to do. All right, Chief of the Navy. Um, I do want carriers eventually, so that's okay. Sword efficiency will be incredibly important. Max range or more max range? Rainsford Stark. Gabriel Hamlet. I think this guy's already our naval admiral, so we'll go with... Is he really our admiral already? Harold Rainsford Stark, yeah. So, I mean, since he's there already, I mean, he might as well get, you know, do that one. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's grab some uh, assault attack. I love it. Come on, come on. We got them. Kill them. Canadians just, they don't know what they're doing. Why do they, why do they not know what they're doing? Nope. And there you go. Very nice. Uh, we need more artillery, of course. Motorized are looking actually pretty good. Even the light tanks are looking pretty good themselves. Not too bad. Any other divisions? No? Okay. Come on, just take Chicago, please. Oh, they busted over there, too. I'm, I'm halfway tempted to just go to war with these guys right now. Hmm. I'm not going to fight for the enemy, though. They follow Batavia. I want us to end the war against the... CSA right now. Oh, okay, that's what I wanted. Follow Detroit. Um, obviously I gotta get, you know, why do they have New Jersey? I get, all, I'm, I'm taking this. The feds don't deserve any of this. Uh, you know, I'll be nice to the feds. You can have West Virginia, or at least that part of West Virginia. Um, Canada doesn't deserve anything. You know what? I'll give this to our enemies too, which doesn't make any sense, but we'll do it anyways because we can. I want Canada to suffer. Mm, American, oh, there you go. We have Arrowhead. Duluth? Oh, that's where Duluth is. Okay, that's kind of cool. And there you go. The car. Which one's a car? Oh, there's a star. Um, there you go. I kind of want to take this stuff. I don't know. What what happens if I take it? Ah, screw it. We'll take it anyway. Let's see what happens. Michigan's a big old state. There you go. Thank you. Just because that opens up another opportunity for us against these guys too, so... Um, if you want to do that, that is fine. Something like that is okay. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have done it like this. It's alright, though. What if we wanted to see the feds fall? But now they're already getting held up by the Entente. Hmm. Tactical decisiveness, not bad. Republic of Ireland is gone. And you know what? Let's go ahead and read the next one. Was it over here? Yeah, we'll keep doing that stuff. New England's future. Hmm. Oh, we could wait on that, maybe. West Point Engineering, counterattack bias. You still get a bonus for a motor, superior, superior firepower cell. West Point Engineering. West Point is one of the greatest military institutions in the world, but officers are not the only graduates. There are also engineers with crucial knowledge that could bolster our war effort. Giving more funding to West Point and encouraging engineering as a career will help our military overcome some of the greatest annoyances we will encounter in the war. Followed up with... Artillery Offensive. Hamann argues that an investment in artillery would go a long way in breaking through to the south or in any other theater of war. With artillery coming first, the enemy line will be broken and melted like butter, and our infantry will be the knife that slices through it. I think I already read that one, but whatever. I uh, let me know. Should we go to war with the federal government immediately or wait a little bit longer? Let me know in the comments below, but regardless, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as maybe we might just be able to wrap up the American Civil War. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.